Shalom to my friends and brothers and sisters and our Lord Yeshua, our Lord Jesus Christ. Jake Hilton here with the Sword of Yehovah Ministries. And there's just something that's on my heart right now that I'd like to I'd like to get off my heart. <laughs> it's just something that I've seen in virtually all Christian denominations, but I have seen particularly among Hebrew Roots Christians, and if you don't know what the Hebrew Roots movement is, it is a movement, a relatively recent movement within Christianity, which is all about getting back to the roots, the roots, the Hebrew roots of the faith. It's really a movement that can be summed up in the words of Jude, who said, we should earnestly contend, earnestly fight for the faith that was once delivered to the saints, that was delivered to the saints once and for all by our Lord Yeshua, who delivered it and finished it. And that's really what the Hebrew Roots Movement is all about, getting back to the roots of the faith, getting back to Torah, getting back to the commandments of our Holy Father, Yehovah God. So I have seen this problem particularly among the Hebrew Roots Movement, but I've also seen it among a great many other Christian denominations. And that is people who desire to be teachers of the Word, who go out to actually teach without taking the time to obtain God's Word first. All right? Now, I have seen this many, many times throughout the years, but I'm seeing it more and more. And it's a very, very serious problem because teachers who are inexperienced in the word of Yehovah, who don't know how to rightly handle the word of truth, as Paul said to Timothy, those who have not taken the time to seek to make themselves approved of God, those who have not practiced in the word, they go out as, quote, teachers, and they end up teaching and spreading false doctrines. I liken it to a diver getting on a diving board at a local swimming pool, okay? Now, before you jump off a diving board, before you take that dive you always want to make sure that there's water in the swimming pool. Because if you end up diving off a diving board into an empty swimming pool, you're going to dive down 12, 13 feet deep, and you're going to smack your head on the hard concrete, the pavement at the bottom of that pool, and you're dead. You're spreading lies, and you're bringing upon yourself condemnation and judgment. Because you are not taking Yehovah's word seriously. You're not rightly handling it. And so you're taking the word and you, as, a, as one who is unlearned and unstable, as Peter says in the third chapter of his second epistle, those people who are unlearned and unstable, they end up twisting and resting the word of Yehovah to their own destruction. What you need to do when you get on that diving board is before you jump in, you need to make sure there's water in that pool. And if there isn't water, you need to take the time to fill it up. Fill it up with the living water of our Lord Yeshua and our Father Yehovah. And that takes time, my friends. It takes time. It takes work. It takes effort. It takes a serious amount of energy. Just like anything in life. No one just snaps their fingers and says, you know, I want to be a surgeon. Oh, I guess I'm a surgeon now. And they go off and perform perfect brain surgery. No one just snaps their fingers and says, you know, I want to be an amazing pianist. And then they just hop on their the nearest piano and just 
perform Beethoven's Moonlight Sonata flawlessly. No one just snaps their fingers and says, you know, I want to be an Olympic gymnast. And then they go hop on a, a trampoline or, or uh, the, the rings or the bars and just performs a perfect 10 out of 10 performance. That's not life. That's not real. That's a fairy tale. And it's the exact same for anyone who seeks to become a teacher. If you have the desire to become a teacher, I will be the first person to shake your hand, pat you on the back, and say, bravo, I think that is a wonderful desire, and it is. It is a righteous desire to want to be a teacher of God's word. But you better make sure that before you start teaching, you have obtained God's word that you know how to rightly handle it. Because teachers of the word, this is James chapter 3, teachers of the word of God will be brought under a more severe judgment than others because they have a greater responsibility to teach the truth and only the truth, so help them God. It is incredibly serious. Just as no one snaps their fingers and becomes a doctor immediately in one day, or a gymnast, or an amazing musician, or anything else in life, becoming a teacher of God's Word requires time, effort, energy, work, and practice. You gotta fill that swimming pool, and that takes time. Do you know how many years I personally have been spending in deep research and study? About 12 years. See, I'm 34 right now, and I really started studying, researching, seeking truth at the age of 22. So it's been 12 years. How many years was it before I actually started teaching? About eight years. Which means I took eight years of time to study, research, seek, ask, knock, do my homework before I actually started teaching. And guess what? When I started teaching, I still made some mistakes that I had to go back later and went, you know what? I made a mistake on that. I need to correct it. So even after eight years of solid study and research, seeking, asking, knocking, and finding an enormous amount of truth and light in God's word, yeah, still made mistakes after eight years. It's now been 12 years of study. And only now do I somewhat feel that I have a really firm grasp on the truth of God's word, that I do know how to rightly handle his word. And I am one who has sought to be made approved of God, and I have found approval from God. I am a teacher of God's word. But that takes time work. And I see far too many people out there who, they're filled with fire and passion for God's word, and they desperately want to teach God's word. And yes, that's wonderful. I am so glad for you. Being a teacher of God's word is amazing. And I applaud you for that righteous desire. But don't... but. But do not dive off that diving board until after you have filled that swimming pool with living water. I'm Jake Hilton with the Sword of Yehovah Ministries. (sighs) Yes, I now have that off my heart, off my chest. Thank you, and I hope you all have a wonderful Shabbat. Shabbat Shalom.